Kenya's port in Mombasa. Moses Okoth moves his cargo to the terminal to read it for onward transportation overseas. He tells me about a growing shift among transporters, the use of the standard gauge railway. Most cargoes being pulled to Mombasa until many ships started to arrive. Many ships mean a lot of cargo to be transported. If you want to understand how important the standard gauge railway has been on the African country's economy, then you have to come here. The marshalling yard of the SGR at the Mombasa port. It is here where cargo is loaded or offloaded from the trains. As this worker loads a container onto this train, Caroline Gadogo, a senior operation planner with the Kenya Ports Authority attached to the SGR, takes stock. She says SGR has provided a fast, efficient and cost-effective means of transporting bulk cargo. So if I have my container discharged today and I can have it in two days in Nairobi, if I'm a bulk manufacturer and I'm moving most of my containers by rail, I will have most of my products, even the raw materials. The port is serviced directly by the rail launched in 2018. From the port terminal, the SGR moves cargo directly from the port of Mombasa to Nairobi freight terminal. Caroline tells me that the direct linkage between the port and the SGR acts as a hub for physical distribution of cargo from Mombasa to Nairobi and to hinterland destinations. We have seen an increase in the local cargo that comes into this country and we have also seen an increase in the cargo that is being offered for SGR. We have uh, protocols of which containers we are supposed to rail and now when we look at each vessel that comes to the port, we are doing an average of 65 to 70 percent of the local cargo per vessel via SGR. On average, it takes eight hours to transport cargo from the port of Mombasa to Nairobi using the SGR. Previously, it took three days via the meter gauge railway or by use of trucks that were at risk of theft and damage to goods. We came from one train in 2018 and now we are doing an average, when we go lowest, we are doing an average of seven trains a day. Infrastructure developments at the port, according to Caroline, are a testament of the impact the SGR has had. One of the visible things that you can see when you come to the port is of course the first, the expansion of our yards the creation of a whole uh, portrait yard that did not exist below, reclaim, before, reclaimed from the, from the sea. Uh, there is a lot of investment in terms of the machinery that we are using. Our officers have also now been trained on a new uh, technique of how to handle railway. In a nutshell, Caroline believes the SGR has elevated Kenya's status as a transport and logistics hub.